Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to explain you how to create function blocks in the Cadesis environment. To do so I will go through an example. Here we assume that we have a process in which uh, some material is being poured on this uh, on this plane. So it's uh, here we have a tank inside which we have some material and we are controlling the flow of the material using the solenoid then whenever the weight here reaches some special value uh, according to the program that we have here the, pro the, the sensor provides the true data and then we will jump to the subroutine program and then execute the program and then continue the execution of the rest of the program okay i'm i'm not going into the details of the example i just want you to i just want to show you how to create the function block in the codices and how to use it so here we have the original ladder logic program and i'm going to implement similar thing in the codices and here what this is what we have inside the the subroutine or function block in general yeah so uh, whenever it is called then here we will have two undelay ti timers connected to each other in this way the number of each one is acting uh, as the enable bit of the other one providing input and then the output of the timer is used here in the original program the enable bit of the timer one or the down bit of the timer zero is used in parallel with the sensor contact in order to uh, turn on or off the pilot lamp number one okay let's go to the codices so here I have uh, three pilot lamps which are uh, representing the pilot lamp motor and the solenoid I have two push buttons start and stop push button I have one switch for the on off switch and I have one sensor to uh, determine whether the weight is reached some threshold or not in the program, in the ladder logic program, I have uh, the similar piece of code as we already had seen in the slide. However, the, the part for inserting the function block is empty and also the contact getting value from the function block is, is not determined. I'm going to show you how to create the function block right now. The first step is to right click on the application in the program, in the project tree and then add object. In the add object, you need to select the POU program organization unit. You can give a name to that. I will call it flash because I'm I'm going to to have the flashing behavior whenever the uh, the function block is uh, called. It will be a function block, and yeah, and the implementation language I'm going to use the ladder logic. Okay, so. Yeah, that, that's all for for now. Let's keep the other things as uh, the default values and let's add it. So here, as soon as you add it, you will see that the flash function block appears in the project tree. It's now similar to the uh, main PSC program. We can develop the code, the piece of the code that we want. Here we see the name of the function block, which is flash it can have some input variables it can have some output variables which needs to be declared here and it can have some local variables which are accessible inside this uh, function block so let's start to implement the function block similar to what we have here so we need to insert two undelay timers and I will use one uh, contact here as the input of the function block as you can see here uh, all right so from the function blocks we need t on let's insert it here t on zero i call it the time t for now elapsed time we don't need to determine and in the next wrong I need another undelay timer again one second elapsed time not needed 
Uh, so this one will receive the input from the timer 0. T on 0 done it. And for this one we will have the timer 1 done it. The input to the second timer, the first one is a negated contact coming from the first timer, so I just make it negated. And then here I'm going to insert another contact which will play the role of the input to the function. So for doing that I'm going to declare the, the new variable here in the uh, input variables field. So I will call it start flash. Start flash. It's of type boolean. Let's insert the contact here. And start flash will be used. Uh, as an output, I'm going to create an output variable and call it flash out, which is of type boolean, and assign the value for this uh, output variable. So it, this is flash out, and it will receive uh, the data from the either enable bit of second timer or non bit of the first timer, because if you look here, this is what we get from the uh, from the subroutine, yeah? the enable bit of timer 1 or the dumb bit of timer 0. So I will do a similar thing here. This will be the dumb bit of timer 0. Okay, so if I save this, then go back to the main PSE program. In the main PSE program, looking at the toolbox, you will notice that now we have this POUs uh, presented here. The flash, which is the one that uh, the function block that I just created is here. So I can just drag it and drop it, drop it here. We need to declare it, flash underline 0. Uh, so this is flash underline 0 function block and the type is flash. So it has an input which will be connected to the sensor and it will create an output. And here we can uh, have access to the output of the flash. So here we have flash, flash, out is uh, what we need here. Yeah? So I, I will go again to uh, this input assistant. And here you can see that with the flash underline 0 instance of the flash, we have access to the input variable and to the output variable. We don't have access to the internal variables of the function block outside of the function. Yeah? That's something that you need to keep in mind. Uh, so this, this should be a normal contact, not the negated one. So this will be a normal contact. So Negate it again, and yeah, that's all. All right, now we, now yeah, we can just save the project, log in, and uh, run the project. Uh, Okay, apparently there are some errors. Let's see what are the error messages that we have. ADR PSC on the line program that PL01 to type pointer to Boolean. It's not possible to. Uh, okay, so that's because I have forgotten to change the variables here for this pilot lamps that I have. So this one should be uh, associated with the PL, PL1. This one should be associated with the motor. 
and uh, this pilot lamp should be associated with the solenoid valve. So I just need to go and select the solenoid valve from there. Start and stop are fine. So this on off switch should be associated with the on off, and the sensor should be associated with the sensor. I think it should work now. Okay, let's compile it again. So we, we I hope we will not have any error message. Yes, that's the case. Let's log in. And then run the code. So with, with the on off, we, we need to have on to have the operation uh, going on. If I press the start and release it, the motor will be started. Okay, I need to. And then whenever the sensor senses that uh, the weight has reached a given value, you can see that the pilot ramp form will start to flash. Alright, so that's uh, how you can create function blocks in the codices and how you can call them in the uh, main PSC program that you have created in the project. I hope this helps you with, in working with the function blocks. Thanks again for watching.